Hi guys, how are we? Okay, great subject today. We're going to talk about love. How do we attract love into our life? Now, you may already have love in your life, and if that's the case, that's absolutely wonderful. But I know for a fact from the emails that we receive and, and various comments that I hear as I go around, that an awful lot of people are still seeking that very, very special love. Now, the biggest thing here is that, you know, you search and you search and you search, and that is exactly where the problem lies. Because sometimes the more you search, the less likely you are to find what you want. So <clears throat> you have to know what it is you're looking for and you have to just let it happen. You know, you could be shopping, you could be on the train, you could be at a business um, event, you could be at a meeting, you, you could be sat watching people out of a window in a coffee shop. There is a thousand ways that that person is going to meet up with you and you with them. The one thing is for sure, is that if you have had a little one-to-one -one with the universe, which is what we're exactly going to do today, then they're going to bring that person to you. And I've told you always the how you do not have to worry about. It's just gonna happen, you know? Um, you're gonna turn a corner and wow, there it is. Um, because the universe will make sure that your paths cross and that's what it's all about. Now, what you have to know is that love is possibly, well, is the most powerful emotion we will probably ever, ever experience. And I personally, whenever I have written about love on my blog, which has been very, very often, I always explain, really, it's so difficult. It's one of the most difficult subjects to maybe even talk about or write about because it's so different for everybody you know what is good for one person is not for the other and of course nowadays we have this fantastic uh, multicultural mixture in the world which is great but you know you have to know about these things to make something really hit well and and form that balance that you're all looking for now when i say about searching 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 why i say to you you know the more you look the less you are to find um, it is a, a fact, that is a fact, but also what you're doing and what you may be doing, which you don't consciously realise, and we spoke about this regarding financial attraction also, is you repel love. So how do we do that, you might say? How on earth do we repel love if that's what we want? Well, we do, because it's all what's going on up here. You know, the mindset is always always the base of everything that we do so therefore when we are thinking you know i'm never going to find love i'm just going to be left here stuck on the pile you know um the kind of kind of person that i'm looking for doesn't exist you know or all the great guys have gone or all the beautiful women in the world are taken you know <laughs> we're wrong we are so, so wrong, okay? Because there is somebody for you out there. But of course, if you are having a mental barrier that is pushing this love away from you, you're never going to meet them, you know? Because what we do is you, you, you tend to dig a hole so, so, so deep, you know? And then how do you get out of the hole? You know, let me out, let me out. You're stuck down there. And that is the, the only person that's put you there is you because of all these things that you believe so what are we going to do about that how are we going to solve this problem number one the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open those gates we're going to open that door and we're going to let positive thoughts flood inside let the negative ones go. We don't need negative thoughts, okay? The world is made up of negative news and things every single day. So at least let love in. Be prepared to accept love because that can be your number one block. You know, you, you unconsciously block it from entering into your life. There is nothing wrong with being in love, you know? Maybe you're going to be afraid that you're going to be hurt again maybe you have a belief 
that you know to be in love is is later it's all going to fall apart and and then what we're going to do then and it's terrible and my life will be in pieces well no you know what you're going to do you're going to pick yourself up you're going to dust yourself off and you're going to start all over again because it's an experience it's been an experience in life for you and that's the way you have to look at it up here Yes, you're going to be sad for a little while, your heart's going to hurt, you know, you may be even going to be heartbroken, but you will bounce back because it's here, all here. And you know the saying, there are plenty more fish in the sea. So the main thing is, is that you find the right person the first time round, okay? Or at least now, if this is where you're at. So what do you need to know for that? You need to know that there's no thoughts for negative thoughts, as we've just mentioned, because your thoughts are what are going out to the universe all the time. So what you're thinking is actually dictating and creating your future. So you need to be super cool there and keep positive thoughts all the time going through your mind. You have to know exactly what you want. And think about this in detail, because if you are looking for the man or the woman of your dreams, then you, obviously you've got an idea, yeah? You've got an idea of what it is you're looking for. You, you know, you're looking for um, the character that they have, the way they are, the things that you do, the activities you're going to do. There is so, so many things, but you've got to let go of the fear, of the doubt, of the insecurities, because all those things are the things that are going to block you from getting to where you want to be. Now, when you do open and accept and decide to accept and let the world know that you're ready to accept love, then that is when things are going to happen for you. Now, when you think about this, you also will get an image. So you need to know what kind of an image it is you're looking for. Do you want to do hobbies together? Do you want to do activities together? Do you want to travel together? You know, what kind of a home would you like to live in? Uh, what kind of a person, what kind of job would you like them to be doing? And what kind of lifestyle would you like to have with that person? What are the kind of things you're going to be doing in your everyday life? You need to visualize all of this and keep it up here. Keep it really, really strong. Focus on what it is that you want. And of course, the second secret to this is never, ever take second best. That's the last thing you want in life, okay? So really work hard on, on, on how you want that person to be. You've got to know up here because your attitude is going to be everything. Because how you react and how you um, are, how you come across, is going to be very, very important to the person who's receiving it. Yeah, do we agree on that? Now, the other thing is, is that you, <clears throat> you've got to know how it's going to be. So we come back to this powerful emotion that we spoke about right at the very beginning. Because if you can feel that emotion, if you can feel how you would feel if you were in love with somebody, if you find that perfect person in your life, how is that happy level going to be? Are we here? Are we here? Are we here? You know, if you can feel that as an emotion, it's going to get you closer and closer and closer all the time. And this again, we've mentioned over the last two videos that we've done. And it's important, it is so important that you implicate yourself as much as you possibly can. Because when you can have that feeling of how it would be for you to find complete happiness in one person and how happy you would be and the emotion you would feel at seeing that person that you have here in your mind. So your mindset has got to be absolutely spot on, yeah? Um, and then what you have to do is once you've got that picture, once you've got that vision, what you have to do is let it go. Let it out to the universe and let them do their job. And what's that job, you remember? The how. How they're going to make the road, the pattern, the system for you to find this person. 
That's all you have to do. That's your part of the deal finished with and let the universe do the rest. So I just hope you all know exactly what you want, that you can implicate yourself in every form of emotion when you're visualizing and thinking about this and that you can very, very quickly bring that loved person to you. I'm wishing you all the luck in the world, guys. Happy love hunt. Bye.